Hello everyone, this is Jubal from Philip Capital. Today we'll discuss the Q3 FI17 results preview for the consumer sector. In Q3 FI17, we expect most FMCG companies to see a hit on their sales due to the government's move to demonetize rupees 500 and rupees 1000 old notes. We expect our PC FMCG universe, X, ITC, and Nestle to see a 2% decline in both sales and EBITDA. Uh, the key themes that have played out during this quarter are first of all the big move demonetization uh, immediately after demonetization the sales of most companies saw a dip of around uh, 30 to 40 percent but then sales have recovered in december and are now at uh, around five percent below the normal sales levels the second theme is channel filling uh, our extensive channel checks indicate that there will be some difference in the primary and secondary sales for uh, most fmcg companies this is because uh, uh, in the last uh, month of December, uh, many FMCG companies would have tried to fill the channels so that they can complete their uh, overall targets for the quarter as well as for the year. A uh, third trend, third theme would be a decline in the ad spend intensity. Uh, most FMCG companies, including Dabur, HUL, Imami, Bajaj Corp, and many others, have cut down on their ad spends. Uh, and they have increased spending and promotion. We believe that since this is an industry-wide phenomenon, the share of voice for most FMCG companies will not be changed. Uh, third theme, a fourth theme is the rise in input costs for both crude as well as non-crude raw materials, basically the agricultural raw materials as well. So there has been a significant increase in prices of crude oil, crude related products, sugar, wheat, rice, barley, etc. Because of which the gross margin expansions which we saw for most companies in the last few quarters will not be so high. For some companies which are completely into food products like Britannia, the gross margin may actually see a decline when you compare it on a YOI basis. Uh, the last theme would be uh, the uh, recovery in volumes for the cigarettes business. A cigarette sector uh, in Q1 because of confusion regarding the uh, package, the, the size of uh, the warnings, the pictorial warnings, the volume growth of uh, the cigarette companies was hit because of the confusion and as well as the confusion in logistics. But in Q2, the sales stabilized, and even in Q3, we are seeing a good uh, offtake uh, in cigarette volumes, and we believe that. For ITC, the cigarette volumes will be flattish to positive. So what we expect from the Q3 FI17 results for most companies, we expect mid single to high single digit decline in sales for most companies. Some companies like GCPL, then uh, Nestle, Titan will see positive to flattish sales growth because of either low base or because of international operations or because their business is doing well. Uh, when it comes to EBITDA, for most companies we are expecting again mid single digit decline and for companies like Britannia, Jubilant Foodworks, it, the EBITDA decline may be higher than mid single digits. For companies like GCPL, Nestle, Marico uh, and Titan, we are expecting positive EBITDA. Uh, key result plays uh, for the Q3 FI17 season, our topics are ITC and Colgate because we believe that these companies will deliver good results as well as the growth potential, the valuation comfort and uh, uh, the overall visibility into growth for FY18-19 uh, means that these companies will continue to do well. Uh, we expect Jubilant Foodworks and Britannia to underperform versus the sector in the Q3-FY17 results comparison.